Welcome to our lecture online. Now let's compare the general solutions of a differential equation and a partial differential equation. To do that, we have ourselves a function which only depends on a single variable x, and so we're going to set up a differential equation du dx equal to the sine of x, and now we're supposed to find the function find u. Over here we have a partial differential equation because we have a function which is dependent on two independent variables and the partial differential equation says that the partial de derivative of u with respect to x is equal to y times the sine of x. Since it's the partial derivative with respect to x, in this case y will be a constant. And again, we're supposed to find the function u. So let's start with the easy one first. Over here, we can separate the variables. We can write that du is equal to the sine of x times dx. Then we take the integral of both sides. On the left side, we get u plus a constant of integration is equal to the negative cosine of x um, plus a constant of integration. And then we put both constants of integration over to one side. So we can say that u is equal to the negative cosine of x plus a constant of integration. So you can see that when we have a a differential equation and then we try to solve it we end up with a constant of integration if we now take the derivative so let's take the check we'll check to see if we got the right solution so what we're going to do is we're going to take the derivative with respect to x so du dx is equal to the d dx of the negative cosine of x plus a constant of integration Notice the derivative of cosine is a negative sign, so this becomes the negative of the negative sine of x plus zero because the derivative of a constant is zero, and so this gives us the sine of x, which is again what we had over here, that the derivative of the function with respect to x is indeed the sine of x. So we found the correct solution. Now when we do the same to a partial differential equation, instead of ending up with a constant, we're going to end up with something different. So let's take a look and see what we do here. To find u, that's going to be equal to the integral of u sub x times dx. And of course that's equal to the integral of the partial of u with respect to x times dx. And the partial of u with respect to x is what we have over here, which is y sine of x. So u is equal to the integral of y times the sine of x times dx. Now notice in this case, since we have the partial of u with respect to x, any y is going to be a constant. So essentially, we could take it outside the integral sign and write it as y times the integral of the sine of x times dx. And when we integrate that, we get u is equal to y times the integral of the sine of x is the negative cosine of x. But now we have to add not a constant of integration, but a function of integration, a function of the variable that remain constant, which in this case is the y. So we have to add f of y. So here we add a constant of integration. There we had, uh, have to add a function of integration, a function of the variable that remains constant. And so when we simplify this, we can say that u is equal to minus y times the cosine of x plus some function of y. And that is the solution. Now, to make sure that that's correct, let's go ahead and take the partial derivative with respect to x and see what we get. So the partial of u with respect to x is equal to, here remember that y is a constant, the derivative of cosine is a negative sign, so it's negative y times the negative sine of x times the derivative with respect to x of a function of y, and since this function only depends on the variable y, and the variable y is considered constant, if you take the derivative or the partial derivative of that with respect to x, you get zero. And so this becomes equal to the negative cancel out the negative, we get y times the sine of, uh, of x. And so you can see that this is what we started with, and therefore we knew we had the right solution for u. But remember, when we, take, when we try to solve partial differential equations and we integrate, we're going to end up with functions of the variables that are kept constant. In this case, the variable is y. So just like we had constants of integration here, we had functions of the variable that remain constant as a part of the integration there. That's how it's done.